All right, good morning guys. I just got done grocery shopping for like our ultimate stock up, okay? So I go in a pantry stock up like twice a year to refill on things and um, I just went to Aldi a couple of months ago but all of my cans, all of my boxes, everything is gone and I don't really know how. Um, so I had to go and restock again. This time I went to Sam's Club to see if this stock up will last me a little bit longer. Um, I do still have lots of like cream of chicken things, etc. like upstairs in that corner pantry. Um, but I had to restock on like some like corn and green beans, like vegetables and all the things. So let me show you guys what I got in this ultimate pantry stock up today from Sam's Club. And this cost me $400 including all of like the dog food, cat food, cat litter, laundry stuff, everything. Okay, so I already tried to record this one time but the, um, it, the camera was out of focus. So here we are 25 minutes later re-recording everything. I've already recorded this twice. Okay, let's see if I can get through it. Third time is a charm. So again, just to recap, I do pantry stock ups a couple times a year and this last one I did from Aldi and that was a couple of months ago. Um, I ran out of my things really fast, like certain things very, very fast. So I just, I needed to do a good pantry stock up again and this time decided to do it at Sam's Club since we just purchased our Sam's Club membership uh, like, Three weeks ago it was like a week before Christmas or something like that um, so I decided to go to Sam's Club and I am pleasantly surprised once again at how cheap everything was let me show you really fast what I got because I've already been down here like recording for a while and I need to go upstairs and make some food because we're all super hungry so let me show you what I got I want to start out by saying that last year taught me and not just me, but I think everybody it, it taught us so much. When it came to March and I like realized like, oh my gosh, diapers, um, wipes, and like toilet paper and paper towels, like all these things were going out of stock. And I was feeling a little panicky. Like as a mom especially, I felt super panicky and I felt totally unprepared for a situation like that which freaked me out. So it just taught me to have more than two weeks of like supplies and groceries on hand. I feed my kids normal food. Like when I talk about my diet food, people are like, what do you feed your kids? I'm like, they have normal things. Like sometimes I'll have like chicken thighs and veggies with us and sometimes I'll have mac and cheese and chicken nuggets because that's a normal parent thing. That's <laughs> so normal. Yeah, anyway. Okay, so mac and cheese, SpaghettiOs, I actually, I'm not a big fan of spaghettios and I've never gotten it for my kids before. Um, but I saw this and was like, oh, that would be so easy. And the kids love spaghetti. So. Okay, I'm trying to go as quick as possible. There's so many groceries. Um, all right, so I got um, diced tomatoes as well. There are 12 cans in here and I got it for like $6.00. And the next canned item, okay, um, I got eight cans of corn, eight cans of green beans, which we are completely out of like all canned vegetables. Um, we just have like cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. I think we still have like 12 cans of each, which is crazy, but I go through two cans at a time. So if you think about it, that's only six meals each. So a dozen meals worth of cream of chicken in there and cream of mushroom. Um, I also grabbed chicken breasts. There's um, seven of them here, and I usually slice them in half, like this, not like this, but like this. Um, so this will get me about six-ish meals. I also picked up some old-fashioned oats. Oh my gosh, this is so much. Um, another just like good like pantry staple item to have. Um, I make the kids oatmeal all the time, and I reach for this when I'm baking a lot. Mike loves overnight oats, and once I get to my next um, phase in weight loss, I've got like 15 to 20 pounds left, and I can start working in more carbohydrates again once I start like lifting heavier and like working out a lot more. Um, you can have carbohydrates right before or right after you're done working out. So overnight oats are like one of my favorites with a little bit of peanut butter and same with Mike and some cinnamon and bananas. Oh my God, so good. So that's what we got for that. Um, 
Oh, so many things. I got some creamy peanut butter. I guess I just got the members mark, like double. This is the natural no stir creamy peanut butter spread. Um, yeah, this one's not bad at all. This only has a couple grams of added sugar. Um, and as far as carbs go for two tablespoons, it only has um, six grams of carbs. So um, that's not that's not bad. I, I don't think I've ever actually read the back of the peanut butter jar before, as far as nutrients. But um, and then I got the kids Ooh, apple juice. Look, well, can I tell you a hint how to make your apple juice last twice as long? How? Um, just dilute it. <laughs> I actually do like half water and half juice. And I told my pediatrician that I was doing this. And I, I only give them a couple of apple juice cups a week and she was like, that's perfect, it's genius. So I, when I first started doing it and she told me that, I've just continued ever since um, because they always ask like, how much juice are they drinking? How much milk are they drinking? Like, because juice is basically the equivalent of like, like soda to children. So um, dilute it in half. That's my hint to you. Because my kids love apple juice. My kids love orange juice. Just dilute it. You are so needy. Mm. Okay, buddy. Come on, can you move? Can you move? Can you move? You're so stubborn. Just sit there. Okay. So I got two things of, the two thing of apple juice was like 4.68. It was like, I mean, seriously, Sam's Club's prices are just insane. Picked up, this is the rice that I prefer to eat, okay? Once again, I like I said, I can start incorporating like some more carbohydrates um, after the next like 15 to 20 pounds. And Mike and the kids eat this still, so I have to make sure I have this on hand. But um, we prefer the jasmine rice just because we can get tastes a little bit, a bit better and like the texture is better than plain old boring white rice. Nothing wrong with boring white, white, white rice. This is just through like experimentation, Mike and I figured out that we liked the jasmine rice better. Um, this is an eight pound bag and I got it for $7 and this will likely last us six months to a year. A lot of this stuff will last us six months to a year and I can do a pantry update in like four to six months and show you guys exactly how much like food storage we still have left and how much like pantry stuff we still have left. Um, you guys are seeing this after my kitchen organization and pantry organizational video. The next video that you guys will see from me is actually a pantry organization. Um, I'm waiting for some racks to come in before I can do that. Gosh, God, thank you, Koda. Um, so anyway, you guys, that is the next video that you'll be seeing from me so you can kind of see what kind of pantry stock up I already have. All right, I need to um, I don't know if I showed these yet already, but I get the dehydrated hash browns. Um, trust me on this one, okay? So much better than frozen hash browns. My dad showed me like, was it like a year? No, it was a couple years ago. My, it was a couple years ago, like maybe three years ago that my dad showed me, okay. You are so lucky. Okay, so anyway, my dad showed me the hash browns, the um, dehydrated ones, like three years ago. All you do is add hot water to rehydrate them, and they're super good. <laughs> Koda, are you driving me crazy? All right. 2% milk, because I got a buttload of cereal this time around for our pantry stock up. I know that milk is not going to last very long. But I don't like them using the oat milk for cereal because they just waste all of the milk. All of the oat milk and oat milk is fun. <laughs> all right, so um, I am slightly lactose intolerant. Kaya is as well. She had to be an almond milk all after the age of one. Um, yeah, after formula, she switched over to almond milk and we had to have an approval letter from our pediatrician so anyways i try to not let them have a ton of dairy so if kaya's just like drinking it like because she's thirsty she'll have oat milk but in their cereal in the morning if they're gonna have cereal i let them use the regular milk because like the regular cow's milk because a it's cheaper b they don't get very much of the actual milk in their spoons and they leave an entire bowl that's full of like this much milk on the bottom so anyway um i also picked up i usually like the cool cotton but um the fabric softener but 
Um, Sam's Club doesn't have it, and I usually get it from Costco, and I don't feel like going to Costco because it's far away from my Sam's Club. So I just got the April Fresh. It smells good. My parents use it when I was younger. My grandma uses it. It smells good. So, anyway, um, okay, I showed you guys the oats. Here are all the fruits. Um, I got raspberries, blueberries, <laughs> kiwi, kind of a kiwi, and strawberries. And I will usually cut, I will cut these up ASAP. Strawberries go um, bad first. So I usually cut those up right away. Um, ugh, I'm trying to get through this fast as I can. Almonds, this with a little bit of a dry ranch or sriracha is so good. Um, this is like one of my favorite low carb snacks. I get a lot of hate on my low carb diet, but I eat a variety of whole foods and nutritional things. It's very good. I have berries. I eat blueberries and raspberries every single day. And they don't last very long in our house, but Koda, can you eat your blue? Koda, come. Koda, come. All right, mayo for the good old pantry stock up. We got our favorite spaghetti sauce. This one isn't the worst on the scale as far as marinara um, when it comes to like added sugar and things like that. I prefer ragu for like taste wise, but A, they were sold out. Um, and B, I was trying to go for a healthier alternative, so I went for that. Um, all right, what else did we get? Parmesan cheese that Kaya slipped into the cart. Also, Cheez-Its. I usually have some kind of crackers or like something on hand for the kids um, to go along with like their their fruits and their vegetables. Rekha likes to munch on green peppers, believe it or not, which is why I got them. Um, also, that is something that I like to munch on. So um, anyways, I always keep crackers on hand for the kids. And, oh my goodness, um, diced peaches, there's 24 of them in here, and this is just for, this is simply for food storage. Um, the kids have plenty of fresh fruit to eat. I do like to like grab these once in a while, um, if we're like going, like in the summer if we're going on a picnic, or if I'm running like low on fresh fruit in the house, then I'll like reach for one of these. Um, but the kids prefer the diced peaches and the mandarin oranges. So I'll, next time I go, I'll likely pick up the mandarin oranges as well. Um, again, that's just basically for food storage purposes. All right, olive oil because Sam's Club doesn't sell avocado oil, but dang, Sam's Club, $9.98 for a giant, giant thing of olive oil. Anyway, I got some bounce cheese. Oh, that smells so good. Our laundry's gonna be smelling so good. Um, I always get bounce sheets. <laughs> There's nothing new there. But the April Fresh, like I said, the downy is new. Um, I got some bread because the kids have been loving um, PBJs and peanut, peanut butter sandwiches and um, toast with their eggs in the morning and all of the things that go with bread. Okay. Also, Mike is a bread snob. And he likes oat nut bread, if you guys are wondering. And Ezekiel bread. Okay, my battery's dying, so I gotta go faster. Um, I got this cleaner, these this glass cleaner. It was a four pack for $7. I got it because my parents used it when I was growing up and I thought it was a good idea. Okay, um, mozzarella cheese, because I plan on making mini pizzas this weekend with the croissants that are left in the fridge for the kids. It's like a fun weekend activity. Yay, everybody's happy. And then I also picked up a 50, almost 50 pack of ramen because because it's ramen. Doesn't everybody have ramen? Mm. I don't know. I grew up like with ramen. Ramen's so good, okay? Don't hate on the ramen. Put some eggs in there, some garlic salt, some sriracha. Holy crap, it's so good. I haven't eaten anything today and I'm totally losing my mind. So I feel like she seems a little off kilter today. That's why. Um, and it is three o'clock and I have not eaten today. I've only had my Starbucks, so. Um, okay, we've got ketchup for the pantry stock up. Three pounds of bacon. Canned chicken, why? Because my parents always had that in their pantry, so I felt like I had to have that in my pantry. Mini cucumbers for me and the kids. 
um, a gigantic thing of pancake mix because again, my parents, this is what they get and I feel like I need to up my mom game and make more pancakes and waffles and things. So all you need to do is add water to that pancake mix. And then I also picked up some syrup and the syrup was $6.98 for a two pack. I still prefer to eat, hi Kai. I still prefer to eat um, sugar-free syrup just because the syrup is so sugary it makes me it makes me sick. Um, but Sands Pub didn't have sugar-free syrup. Sugar cookie toast crunch is what Kai picked up for a cereal and crunch berries. I wanted to have a couple boxes worth in the pantry storage. And then I picked up triple A's because everything we use is triple A's. Next time I will pick up I think a double A's as well just to have them. I just like to have them in the house just in case. I like to have a I like to have them. Um, and then this is Kaya in Riker's snack. This is like the Scooby snacks, the peanut yeah, cookies, like Scooby, Scooby, uh, Scrabble, Cheez-Its, and all the fun things. Um, and then what this is sitting on, because I didn't bring my tripod down here, Kaya wanted lemonade, and it was $6, so I said, why not? Um, and she's like, I'm gonna make lemon a lemonade stand. I did not tell her that it's only 20 degrees outside and that's probably not gonna happen, but um, <laughs> anyway. Okay, and then I got some eggs to refill in the fridge. Um, I got this lightweight tidy cats because I'm not in love with the spoon cat litter that I've been getting. I, I'm new to like being a cat owner, so I've been, I tried the more natural, like the spoon cat litter. It smells awful. So I'm going back to the lightweight cat, tidy cats. Um, and then, Lamb and rice, dog food. Um, we always get lamb and rice. Don't ask me. Ask my husband. Is he does he does that research? Um, and then we also got the cat. His food as well. And I think that's everything. I think that's everything I got. I spent four hundred dollars. Not all of it. I would say probably over a hundred dollars of that was on the dog food, cat food, litter, laundry detergent, um, the dryer sheets. Oh, it was well over $100 right there. So the And the batteries, yeah, probably like $150 worth of other things. So I say I would say there's about $250 worth of actual food here. Okay, so I wanted to add one more part to this Sam's Club haul because I did go back and I grabbed a few more things. So basically my parents used to do this when I was growing up and they would like stock up on stuff. And I like, Sam's Club has such good deals and like saves me so much money in the long run. So before my battery dies, I'm gonna go over the rest of what I picked up from Sam's Club. Also, just so you guys know, this week, this week, right now, um, if you like picking up pizza rolls for like super quick and easy lunches or meals for your kids, because like I said, this mama is not above giving her kids chicken nuggets and pizza rolls for lunch every once in a while. Our typical is like a like a peanut butter sandwich um, with like fruits and veggies, and my kids love pizza rolls. So I just like to keep them in the deep freeze, like on hand. And when they're on sale, I like to stock up. So right now there is $6.58 a box for 120 of them, which is an insane deal. Um, they're $2 off a box, originally $8.58 a box, and they're $6.58 a box, and it's such a good deal. So I grabbed, so anyway, I grabbed two boxes while I was there today since it was such a good deal, um, and I threw those in the freezer. I also grabbed another bag of wings. Um, I've showed you guys in the past, but I just got the Tyson, Tyson hot buffalo wings, and like that's what I have for lunch almost every single day. Um, to be like low carb, absolutely love them. So anyway, so that's what I already put in the freezer. Um, I just didn't want any of it to go bad. And then I also grabbed another box, or another bag of um, the, like, I'll show you guys, these veggie nuts. These are one of my favorite low carb options at Sam's Club. And then I also picked up a multi-pack. It's like a four or five bag pack of rice cauliflower. Um, there are yep, yeah, there are four 12 ounce bags inside of the um, five dollar bag. So that is a really good deal as well because even at Aldi, um, I believe they're like three or four dollars per bag of rice cauliflower, and for five ninety eight, you can get a four pack from Sam's Club. So like I said, I just like to buy things in bulk because it's so much cheaper. And Mike and I literally have enough groceries to last us for two months as far as like our meat and everything. The only thing we'll have to refill on are um, like fresh veggies and fruits and things like that and like milk. Um, and 
possibly butter, uh, depending on how fast you go through it. So I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like I'm on the ball this year. That was one of my goals was to save on groceries, like trying to save as much money as possible on our groceries and our toiletries and all the things. So I also bought some other things in bulk that I usually don't. Um, so I picked up this five pack of toothpaste. Um, I'm sure I'm sure this is like a normal thing for so many other families to like purchase their toiletries and things in bulk. Also, don't mind my sink full of um, dirty dishes in the background. I have I have to clean. We were gone most of this weekend, so I just need to like wrap my head around all of the like organizing and cleaning that needs to be done. So anyway, well, I'm just feeling. I'm so tired, Riker, again, we're like sleep training him and he's not sleeping and napping very well. We just upgraded him to a big boy bed, which I will talk about that later this week and kind of go through like how we're re-sleep training him. He's also going through a sleep regression right now. So we have the joy of like doing that all at the same time. But since he's already in a sleep regression, we thought, why not just transfer him to his big boy bed um but anyways i'll talk a little bit more about that a lot of bit more about that in a vlog coming up on friday when i like go through like what we're doing to like sleep train him and switch him to a big boy bed so anyway um i also picked up i always get my batteries from um from sam's club or costco now what I like about um, Sam's Club is they have the members marks, so like the off-brand. I've never really noticed a difference in batteries. I'm not really a battery snob. Um, but I picked up triple A's when I was there last week, and I picked up double A's today. Um, now, like for example, if you buy a like multi-pack from Target, even the Up and Up brand, the Up and Up brand comes with a 20-pack for $12.99. You can get a 48-pack for $16.98 from um, Sam's Club. So you get more than double for only like $4 more um, from Sam's Club. So if you need batteries, that's what I like to do and that literally will last us like six to 12 months for our double A's, especially our triple A's. Most of the things that we have though, like our remotes and stuff do take triple A's. So anyway, anyway. Also picked up some tuna. I've been craving um, like tuna like salad. I'm gonna try and come up with like a um, like a low carb tuna sandwich. Um, I don't know why, but just every once in a while I crave like a like like tuna salad type thing. Um, I used to do it on like toast with cheese on top. Oh my gosh, it was that was my favorite when I was growing up. So I picked up that, um, and then I also grabbed some Rotel because it was on sale for five dollars for an eight pack. And I really like to use that in, even though I'm low carb, I still have lots of like vegetables, like tomatoes, all the things. Oh shoot, which reminds me, I just, oh, I forgot to pick up a fresh rotisserie chicken. I usually pick that up every time I go to Sam's Club, but I was in such a rush today, I totally forgot. Um, I like to do, for the Rotel, I'll put it in like my taco soups and I will put them in like low carb, like casserole type things. Um, and I use them for dips a lot too, so love having Rotel on hand. When I went to my Sam's Club today, it was super bizarre. They were like sold out of a lot of things, um, including the multi-pack of pasta. So I have like a lot of spaghetti sauce and I wanted Alfredo, but they were sold out of Alfredo as well. It was weird. Um, and they only had the Classico spaghetti sauce. They were sold out of every other kind of spaghetti sauce. Again, super bizarre. Um, but I did pick up some Classico um, spaghetti sauce last week. Um, so instead of spaghetti, I guess we're gonna be having like elbow noodles with it. This is what I give my kids. I'll have it with like the squash nests, like the zucchini and um, yellow squash veggie nests. Um, but I will give my kids like some pasta. So a little bit of this, um, or a little bit of like these elbow noodles with spaghetti sauce. You, should, you could even do like goulash. If you've heard of goulash, it's like a really easy, um, a really easy recipe that goes a long ways and I usually will like freeze a large portion of it um, so this comes with six individually wrapped packages and I believe it was like six dollars like a dollar a pack I also picked up some chicken bouillon usually I use the Rikers eating lunch and he's like over being in his chair but usually I will get the better than bouillon um, like chicken base but they don't sell that at um, Sam's Club, they do at Costco. So if you use the better than bouillon, 
they are bullion, however you say it. They sell that at Costco for like $5 for like a big thing of it. That's the best deal that you will be able to find on that bullion base. Um, but I picked up the Noor. This one is my second favorite. And I love to use this in soups and things like that. I'm going through bullion like so, so fast these days. Um, picked up another box of the Idaho Spuds um, because they're five bucks and I just like to have these on hand. I feel like we go through the hash browns really fast. Also picked up um, some um, potato flakes just because this is like so nice for like a quick dinner to like throw on the side for the kids. The kids loved the kids love mashed potatoes, so I like to have that on hand for them. You just have to doctor it up a little bit with like some butter, maybe a little bit of like milk and sour cream and some seasoning, and it is pretty good. Um, I'm low carb, so I typically will stay away from this. And then I also picked up. Um, this two pack of this is just like non stick cooking spray. Um, I don't really have a preference when it comes to this. I got the olive oil this time because it was only like $3.98 for a two pack. Um, I picked up Mike's deodorant. Now, this is something I usually don't stock up on, but it was like $8 for a four pack and it was like $8.58 for a four pack or something like that. And these are like four or five dollars a piece at Target. So that was an insane deal. Um, and then I picked up a five pack. Now I, I usually use the like aluminum free, um, but they didn't have that at Sam's Club and I just wanted something that was like super, um, I just want, I just wanted to stock up on deodorant, back up a little bit and see if I could save a few bucks on some deodorant for myself. So I grabbed um, this Degree Motion Sense. It's the black and white ultra clear. Again, I usually use like an aluminum free, um, but this, this stuff smells pretty good. I'm hoping that um, Sam's Club brings in more like aluminum free types of deodorants. Um, I've been using the Secret Coconut um, Aluminum Free. That's my favorite. But um, so I stacked up on this, and this was like eight dollars for five of them. Again, a really good deal. Um, and then I also grabbed some Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. Um, it's ten bucks for a twelve pack. Yep, ten bucks for a twelve pack. My kids go through chicken noodle soup like crazy. Um, I've been growing up with this Hidden Valley Ranch like dry seasoning since I was in high school. My parents always have this on hand um, and it's really nice for like just whipping up a quick batch of like, I like making a homemade ranch which I have a recipe here on my channel and I do use this in that recipe for like a really yummy runny ranch. I like to add parsley and dill, some extra parsley and dill to my recipe. Um, it's so bomb, it's so bomb. And this, I really wanted to do a recipe with the almonds that I picked up last week. Ooh. My elbow, my elbow hurts so bad. I like tore a muscle inside my elbow. This weekend from like lifting Riker up over the side of the bed. Anyway, I wanna try a recipe with the almonds that I got. Um, it's like a spicy ranch um, seasoning flavor. So I wanna give that a shot. Um, and then I like to make chili a lot. <laughs> Hang on buddy, I like to make chili a lot. So I picked up some kidney beans and I picked up some black beans. Now these were like four fifty, five five bucks a box, and each one of them has six cans. Um, this was a little bit more expensive. Um, this was like $8, $7.98 or something like that for chili powder, but we go through this like crazy as well, whether we're making chi uh, chili or taco soup or tacos. I make my own homemade taco seasoning with chili powder, so it was due time that I just pick up a giant thing of chili powder. But anyways, you guys, all right, that is going to wrap it up for me. I am gonna get Riker out of his seat. He's clearly done with his lunch. Um, I hope you enjoyed this mega Sam's Club haul. This is a huge haul, the biggest haul I have ever done here on my channel, like money wise. And I show you everything from like my cat food, dog food, toiletries, food, all the things that I use on a typical normal basis. So, all right guys, I will see you in a couple days for that kitchen organization video. Okay, bye guys.